News continues tracking Arthur this 4th of July morning. Cape Cod residents and many summer vacationers preparing themselves for the arrival of Hurricane Arthur today as the area remains under a tropical storm watch. Eyewitness News reporter Ashley Baylor live in Chatham this morning. Ashley, good morning to you. We've been looking at live pictures from your location all morning, but describe for us what conditions look like there now. <laughs> yeah, later on it is going to be very, very different, but so far a nice serene morning out here. I'm standing in front of Chatham Harbor and you can see we have quite a bit of sunshine. We've just seen a few scattered clouds mix in from time to time, but so far there's just a light breeze. There's a light chop on the water. This is not what you would picture if you knew a hurricane was on the way, but you know, it's just going to be a quick impact here in Chatham. We are under a tropical storm warning for all of Cape Cod and down towards Nantucket. Martha's Vineyard is not under a tropical storm warning. But Arthur is really, I tell you, has not stopped vacationers, has not stopped beachgoers. We saw people on the beach yesterday. We've seen people on the beach this morning, but they do know there is a red flag up. And when that red flag is up, that means there is no swimming. And that's because the rip currents here are already very strong. And obviously, they are going to get stronger as Arthur approaches. Now, Arthur is expected to pass just southeast of Nantucket, about 100 miles southeast of Nantucket, later on between about 7 o'clock tonight and 10 o'clock. So that's when we're going to start to tap into some of those heavier rain bands. And we could see about two to four inches of rain here in Chatham, along with sustained winds of about 35 to 50 miles per hour. Now, once the storm passes, the only thing they'll have to contend with here at the Cape this weekend is the high surf and obviously the strong rip currents. So if you are heading to the beach, that's the only thing you'll have to really think about if you are going into the water. But as I said before, nothing has stopped anybody from coming to the Cape. It was definitely a task and a half getting over the Bourne and the Sagamore Bridge. And people are excited. There's going to be a parade here on Main Street in Chatham at 10 o'clock. And that's the question everybody's been asked. Asking, is the parade going to be okay? And yes, the parade is going to be okay. And once Arthur moves through, it's going to be a beautiful Cape Cod weekend. Reporting from Chatham, I'm meteorologist Ashley Baylor.